Coming to you from Seattle tonight, where the roof at Safeco Field has been closed for comfort. It's the home opener of this new season between the Colorado Rockies and the Seattle Mariners. Mariners baseball comes your way next. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Second baseman, number nine. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And HR, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners entering play here tonight. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matt, you know, one thing I look at, they're protecting their own territory. I mean, they won the first two games of the series. They got a chance to sweep right now. You just can't let two. people come into your house and win games. There's that classic 0-2 changeup. That is such a tough pitch to lay off. Nice job of hitting right there. Look, the reason it's tough, because the fastball looks just like the changeup coming out of the hand. You got to honor the fastball, and then he pulls the string on you. Nice take. Settling in now, David Dahl. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. This is line to left. Spam is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Here's Charlie Blackman now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. And he That's lays in. off for ball a ball, 2-1. Two. Two that pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Cano fields it cleanly. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is... Here's D. Gordon now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ball. And that misses ball Counts one. one Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. you got to have a short-term memory, strike. and you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. you got to come back today and play better and win. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And he is going to have extra bases here to start the home first. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Gene Segura standing in. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Swing and a little blooper to center. LeMahieu into shallow center. Makes the play one away. Here's Robbie Cano now. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he got out in front of the change. He's looking for a fastball right there because he got the bat head so far out he was able to pull oh, it. If that was a fastball, he might have kept it fair. And he misses there, one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pro goes over to third in the dirt here. And he's going to make it into third base now, as I believe that'll be scored as a wild pitch. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Count. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, we're playing cat and mouse already in the first inning. Look, I know it's a three ball count, but I don't think he's pitching around him because look at the on deck circle. That guy's a pretty good hitter, too. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Oh, and that misses ball, ball four. four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Off the plate, Kyle Seeger checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's one and zero. Oh. And he misses again here. Two and zero oh to the Mariner third baseman. 
Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here it is on 3 and 1. Can't keep that one fair either. And now the count is full. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss. And they come back from a 3 0 count to sit him down on strikes. And there are two gone. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Trey Mancini started to go around, but it's a called strike. 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gonzalez coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Coming to the plate now, Adrian Gonzalez. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 0. 1 0 pitch. A little bouncer. But that one rolls foul. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes Matt back Bolton. with a third one. Three in a row. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Looking to minimize the damage here. Pulled toward right center field. Gonzalez has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Here's Nolan Arenado. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Nolan Arenado. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. Oh, two. That's two. easier said than done. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So stepping in, Carlos Gonzalez. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in oh, the zone, out. you know it's only going to go down from there. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. This is pulled into right, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. No he has been strikes. aggressive in this inning. 0 and 2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Striding into the box, Mitch Hanniger. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So a base hit to kick things off here, and there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second. Stepping into the box, Denard Spann. He certainly had it working for him at the plate this season. The average is up over 350 entering play. First pitch on its way. Nope. 
Ball Hole one. one. Nobody Ball out, one, runner no on first. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Blackman is under it. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here now is Mike Zanino. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And this will be fouled away. Ready with the 0 1. Nope. That misses downstairs for a ball. 1 and 1. Runners on first with one down. Runner goes for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And they'll apply the tag, and he is out at second. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. The one and two pitch. Well, and that one stayed too low, apparently. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Full Won't count. commit on Three the slider. Two. Good patience, and it's full. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. Throw to first He's in out. plenty of time, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Dom Nunez, 7 8 9, bottom of the order, set to go here in the third. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout. Under it here is Seeger to make the play one gone. Standing in Ian Desmond hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Gordon is in pursuit. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now at the plate, Ryan McMahon. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting Zero. down in the 220s for the year. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Trying to pick things up where he left off. D. Gordon. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. This is on the ground over to first. McMahon ranges to his right, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Gene Segura. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In there, no balls and a strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. Here comes another 0-2. Breaking ball, ball just misses the inside corner. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every Ready chance he and gets. Two. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. Takes this the other way to right, and he will make the play. Two away now. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. The tag, and he is out. Digging in to try it again. DJ LeMayhew. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Oh, Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Oh, he looks oh, like two. he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. Zanino has it. The throw to first is in time. One down. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. Boy, that's an ugly swing right there. And they haven't been getting on base. They're not doing much of anything right now. And I'll tell you what, they got to figure out something to make an adjustment or this game could get ugly quick. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Into the windup and the pitch. Charlie Blackman is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. The one and no delivery. Slap hard the opposite way. And there's the first hit of the game for Colorado. Digging in for his second at bat, Nolan Arenado. He's 0 for 1 thus far from the stretch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Tying run at first base. He's got to make sure that a ball in the gap, he scores. He's got to get a great jump. And one way to do it, as soon as you sorry, see that ball, ball through the zone and you see the swing and it makes contact, you just got to get flying. And he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. And Cano will make the catch to retire the side. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. He's having a really good game. He's over 70% first pitch strike. When you get that first pitch strike, now it opens up the whole strike zone, and that's why a pitcher can dominate, and he's doing that in this game. Two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Striding in once again, Trey Mancini looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. And that swung on and missed for strike one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two, two. Yep. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now a throw over to first. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Ready for another chance. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. First pitch coming, here it is. Chop foul wide of first. The 0 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gonzalez looks up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate, Mitch Hanniger. One for one after a single this first time up. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks. Digging in Denard Spann. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. 
out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Blackman is under it. One away. At the plate, Mike Zanino. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. On the move is Gonzalez. Two down. Here's D. Gordon now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Well, there's a strike looking, but you know what? They've been so patient. They're leading in this game, I think, because of their discipline at the plate. They're not swinging at balls out of the zone. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a looper to left. Desmond over to his right. And that's the third out. In now, Carlos Gonzalez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Well, Matt, they've been real aggressive, taking swings early in the count, but you're losing in this game, so you got to make an adjustment. You got to start taking pitches and maybe working the pitch a little bit more if it's not working, being aggressive. Well, that was a pretty good swing yep, right there. Tough changeup, back to back changeups, and he fouls it off. Now you get the pitch you want, because I can't see him throwing another changeup right here. And here's a ball hit in the air. Span on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ball, and that's high out. for a ball, 1 and 0. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. Zero. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Digging in. Dom Nunez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. I really love the way he's attacking hitters on that first pitch. It's over 80% first pitch strikes in this game. And that's why he's having such great success. And a terrific effort out there as he's able to chase that a long way for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So digging in now, Ian Desmond flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Hard hit ball to short. There's Segura. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Gene Segura standing in. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. No balls, two strikes. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. He just picked him apart in that at-bat as he's gone on three pitches, one away. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Lifted in the air to center. Blackman is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in once again, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Slider up that he gets a call on. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Ball inside. inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. 
One and two. Here it comes. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Ooh, he got away with one right there. Change up up and he fouled it off instead of putting it in play. He won't want to throw that again. Five runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And no one will get this one. That misses, and we're even at two and two. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan McMahon comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And this is handled out there by Span for the first out. Ready for another chance? DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Looped out toward third. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First offering on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Span. Gone! Here's Charlie Blackman now. He's one for two in the ball game. Into the windup and the pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. And this is fouled back and out of play. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Nolan Arenado is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Little chopper back his way. Throw will go oh. to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Digging in and looking for more. Trey Mancini. Chad Bettis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Hit hard up the middle. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. So the base hit puts the first man aboard to start the inning for the Mariners. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Adrian Gonzalez he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And a pitch takes off inside and it gets away. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1 0. Now here's a swing, and Adrian sends a high fly ball deep to right field. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. Ready for another shot now. Mitch Hanniger. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. This one's flared out toward left. Desmond sprinting after it. One out. 
Riding in once again, Denard Spann. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Oh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Hit hard on the ground towards second. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Digging in to try it again. Mike Zanino. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Now a fastball is swung on and tipped foul right near home plate. It's strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Ball, that's out. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Lays off Count the slider that time. Two and one. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Swing Dear and God. a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in once again, D. Gordon. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Coming in is Blackman, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gene Segura. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hard hit at third, and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The runner scores from second. Ready once again, Robinson Cano. Over two with a walk for him so far. Here's a high pop up. Bettis has got it, and the side is retired. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Juan Nicasio comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Hit hard on the ground to second. Scooped up on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Into the box now, Trevor Story. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. The it looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Digging in, Dom Nunez, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Two runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. Cano has it. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. So striding in. Kyle Seeger, he'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Blackman is under it, one out. At the plate, Trey Mancini. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Here it comes. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. That's a great check swing. That's tough to hold up on that pitch. It looks like a fastball, and the slider just breaks away from you. He's held up, though. Strong hands. Desmond is there to put it away for out number two. Here's Adrian now. He comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. Pitch on the way. And he takes this one high, one and one. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Here's the one and two delivery. 
And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to. Now batting, Ian Desmond. He'll have the Maybe first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Number 20, Ian Desmond. David Phelps enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. David Phelps. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Oh, that was a tough pitch to lay off of. He took this hack at that slider. He thought it was going to be over the plate. It just kept running away. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. At the plate, Ryan McMahon. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. High in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Gordon. He's got it one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Runner at first here, one man out. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Stepping in, David Dahl. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And the runner from second is in to score. Throw won't get him. Now in the box, Charlie Blackman. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. First offering on its way. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Well, he got him to chase a fastball right there off the plate. He's such a good hitter. You don't see him chase out of the zone very often. That just tells me the pitcher's got pretty good stuff. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple runners on base, but not oh. here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0-2. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You can see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Charlie Blackman is sent packing for the second out of the inning. And Adrian will put this one away without incident, and the inning is over. Digging in now, Mitch Hanniger. He'll see what he can do. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Standing in, Denard Spann. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Hit in the air to shallow center. Coming in is Blackman, but he won't get there. It falls in. Here now is Mike Zanino. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Well, when you're facing good hitters, you got to mix it up. Most people say pitch off the fastball. Clearly, right here, that first pitch changeup for a strike has now set up everything else. He's pitching off the changeup. Fouled back. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Fly ball out toward left center field. 
Calling for it. Desmond, one down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Here's D. Gordon now. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. And he Whoa, takes ball hit. one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, nope. the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. This is where you really got to focus with runners on base. You got a 2-0 count. You have a tendency to get a little anxious thinking you can drive somebody in. Stay focused. Get your pitch. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and one. Nope. Slider sorry. misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. 3-1. and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Hanniger rounds third and is digging for the plate. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only. One away. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Gonzalez. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. Oh, and this will not be in time as he's into third base safely. Stepping in, Robinson Cano. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Now three. check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Lifted the other way out to left center. Gordon over to his right, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. At the plate, Trevor Story. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Gordon ranging back at the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Dom Nunez. Here comes the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Digging in Ian Desmond. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Now the 0 1. And there's a swing and a miss, so the Rockies find themselves down to their final strike now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And if we had to single out one star from the Mariners roster tonight, I think it would have to be this man, Adrian Gonzalez. Can't ask for much more. He's our tops player of the game. Hey, you could probably make an argument for a couple of other guys, too, but it seemed like he had the most to do with his guys getting the win here. Our final line score tonight, 